Dr. John Larson, the Corporate Medical Director of Gateway Alcohol and Drug Treatment Centers. People drink for a number of reasons. Probably the most common is the pleasurable sensation that people get from alcohol. But some people drink to alleviate symptoms of stress and some people drink to alleviate symptoms of depression. There's an immediate acute effect since alcohol is a toxin. It kills cells in the brain and in the liver predominantly. If you continue to drink excessive amounts of alcohol, it can produce irreversible side effects in the brain. Uh, one of those is Korsakoff psychosis, we call it, where someone is unable to form new memories. Uh, their ability to care for themselves is grossly impaired. It's difficult for people to stop drinking alcohol once they start drinking excessive amounts because of the chemical changes that occur in the brain. Even in a fairly short time, the brain struggles to maintain equilibrium, and when you take the alcohol away, the brain being used to it starts to create urges to use. It can create symptoms of withdrawal. The evidence is overwhelming that alcoholism is a disease, just like diabetes or heart disease, and it's a treatable disease. The effects of alcohol on the brain take a while to reverse, but they eventually do reverse to a great extent. We used to think that if you kill a brain cell, which alcohol does, you never get that brain cell back and you never grow a new one. But we now know that the brain actually goes through a process where it creates new brain cells over time. And if you avoid alcohol and other substances that might affect that process, the brain can bounce back pretty remarkably. <music>